Hi guys and welcome. In the previous two lectures I showed you how to create a polar array and a rectangular array. But in this lecture I'm going to show you how to use this command, which is the path array. This will evenly distribute the object copies along path or a portion of a path. So let's say for example we wanna let's create just this circle. Small circle. Let's move it from here. This. Wanna move it from no. How about we go to this and quadrant this? This point. Let's assume, for example, that we want to create an array of this circle around this arc, just only this arc, not the whole body. Okay, so you cannot choose the rectangular one and you cannot choose the polar. The rectangular is wrong and the polar array is wrong as well. So we choose something which is called the path array. So we click on the command, select this object, right click, then select the path curve, which is this one. And as you can see, this array will be created. As you can see, here they tell you the number of items, which is six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And this here will tell you the item spacing, which is the spacing between these items. You can change it, for example, 200. As you can see, it will be a little bit spaced. Or you can change it from this one. You can do this. Or you can do what? This. This one here for what? Will not do anything since it is paralyzed to being started from this, the first one. So, this is how you create a path away. You can make it a tangent direction, you can make some measurement thing. For example, let's sit for the what? Tangent direction. To what? To this point. You can see it will be created in the tangent direction of that line. And let's just put it again to from here to here. And it will be crossed, will be signed from the center of any of all the circles. Let's for example assume we want to make some measurement, we divide. The number of items, let's change it for 10 for example, C, let's make it from where, from here to anywhere here, let's make it, as you can see there's a lot of properties and options you can do with the path, but that's it for the path array.